Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. I have not done my hair, as you can see. I have not done my makeup, as you can see. I am cozy as can be, as you can see. I have not worn this in forever and it's just so cozy and I love it. But I'm actually about to get ready for the day. Um, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. I don't think I'm washing my hair today. I don't really know. I wish I would have vlogged yesterday because my hair was on point. I'm gonna put a photo right here. It was the day after I, I don't know. Some people say it's not crimping. I don't know, it's an actual crimper. So I don't know, it is what it is. But the waves were so pretty. I have never had my hair like that before. Um, the only time I've ever had my hair crimps or in waves whatever it may be, is when it was like half up, half down. But yesterday I wore it completely down with my hair like that. And it was just, I was obsessed. Like that is definitely a look that I am obsessed with. I love so much on me. I, I feel myself becoming like more confident as the time goes on and I love that. So I'm just trying to find things that make me feel more confident and do things that make me feel more confident. Being on camera like this is definitely not one of them, but. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I wish I would have vlogged yesterday so you guys could see my hair. It was just like, it was a really good hair day. And I appreciate days like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go get ready. I'll see you guys when I'm done. So the whole time getting ready today, I've been listening to Trisha's podcast with Gigi Gorgeous. And I don't know what it is, but I have like, <laughs> I think I have a crush on Gigi Gorgeous, which is weird because I'm not really into like the whole femme, girly pop type of thing. But I think I have like a massive crush on her so that's a thing so my hair is super messy today but i actually am living for it i live for the mess anyways we actually need to have a little discussion i'll set you guys right here i'm trying to decide what perfume i want to wear today oh i recently bought new perfume i bought a bunch of these like little sample sizes of mark jacobs perfume because i've never actually smelt it before and i've always wanted to so far i've only smelt this one which is Daisy Marc Jacobs, and it's so, oh my god, I love it. There's a cat on the counter. That's okay. So one of my favorite perfumes, which I've said this, is Versace Bright Crystal, and I have barely any more left, so I'm gonna use that. I'm definitely gonna have to buy more because it's barely even wanting to come out. People are assuming that I have a boyfriend. No, I am not interested in men. I am a lesbian, I've said that countless times. The only man I would ever be interested in is Yo Mama. Am I joking or am I not joking? We'll never know. But in a recent video, I said that I'm talking to people and just because I said the word people instead of saying like, I'm talking to women or girls, people just automatically assume that meant I'm talking to a man. That's not what that means. Okay, so I just got back inside from Walking Twinkie and now I'm finishing up the uh, Gigi Gorgeous, oh my God. And Trisha podcast. Imagine if they had a podcast together. I would die. I feel like I could watch them for literally ever. Um, I do have them on times two speed because that is how I watch literally everything because my attention span is so bad. Anyways, um, you guys, I think today's the day. I have been saying for a very long time, very, very long time that there is a piercing that I want. It used to be my septum. I used to want a septum piercing really bad, but then I got like a fake septum because I wanted to see how it would look on me. And at the time it did not look good. This was back in like 2019. My face was a lot more round. I literally looked like the moon. Like it was like full moon tonight, every single day. The first time I have done this is some of these hate comments, I am just like, Damn. My face is still really big, but nowhere near as big as it once was, I will say that. So I'm not really sure how a septum piercing would look on me now, but the practice ring that I had back then has scarred me from ever getting that. So that's not what it is. Um, it's something different and it's probably not gonna be a big deal to all y'all, but it's just something that I have wanted for literally so long. And I, I used to have snake bites, by the way, that's why I have those two little dots there. And I have this nostril pierced. So I've definitely got some piercings. You know, my ears are pierced. I used to have my cartilage pierced. I've actually pierced it three times, but my cartilage never wants to heal. I don't know what it is. Some people can't get their cartilage pierced. I might be one of them. But there is another like low key piercing, like it's low key. 
Um, <laughs> I've been wanting for so long, but I've just been scared because I don't like needles. I have piercings. I know. I get it. I've always been super scared every single time prior to getting a piercing. I've honestly never felt like I maybe deserve this new piercing. It's kind of like putting glitter on a pile of poop. Like what? But I have been feeling more self-love for myself and I have been caring for myself more and I have been feeling more confident and I just, I don't feel like a pile of poop anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing. I feel like maybe, you know, a new piercing would be fun. You know, I got the fairy hair. I, who knows what's next but right now I'm feeling super anxious and super nervous like I'm scared but we're gonna go um I didn't schedule an appointment I'm pretty sure this place can do walk-ins I did some research I found you know a place that had like great reviews so I'm nervous y'all like <laughs> it's like in the pit of my stomach and it makes me feel nauseous and I'm kind of like shaking a little bit. I know that's so dumb. It's literally just a needle. I'll be fine. I've been through worse. I had a full hysterectomy. Like, calm down, Amberlynn. You're going to be fine. Wait. Way to cross. Okay, so we're downtown and this is the place that I'm choosing. 23rd Street Body Piercing. What did you say, Amber? I said my nose is going to be sore for days. And what else? Are you scaredy cat? <laughs> Stop. Yes. Tell, tell them. I'm I'm nervous, Mom. They know. I already talked to them about it. Oh, I bet you did. I'm very nervous. <laughs> well, are you super close? It feels close. You're fine. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm nervous, but all right. I already got the um. Let me show them. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, we have some cleaning solution and some gauze type deal type situation. So it's happening, folks. You set. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> You guys, it's done, and my mom is a hater. She just doesn't get piercings, but I'm obsessed. Um, oh my god, it was just a great time. We did it, and I actually really like it a lot. Um, what do you guys think? I love it. I haven't had a stud in my nose in forever. Okay, this I watered so much, it was crazy. I was actually just standing in front of this. It's so pretty, I love it. So now we have to, we had to park kind of far because there was no parking. So, and then I think we're gonna go get something to eat. I'm not sure what else. So we're at Panda Express. I got chow mein and the uh, broccoli with beef because I'm obsessed with the broccoli. So good. All right, so my fortune today is share your many talents with your community. Well, you guys, actually a friend recently asked me this question and my answer is that I can touch my nose with my tongue. I guess that's a talent. Oh, and I also got some diet Coke, so. So I think what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go to this place. It's literally right across from us, the Delta A. So it's a smoke shop. I think I'm gonna get some Delta 8. Um, my hair is so frizzy, it's a mess, but I think I like the look of that. So just embrace it with me. So I'm gonna go do that. And then there's a store my mom wants to go to. I don't know. So we're gonna do that. And then I need new foundation because I officially used my last bit of foundation today. So I have no more at all. And there's only one type of foundation that I use and I need it. So I'm also gonna go do that. Okay, so Delta what? Hall. Oh, you can see your liquid. Oh, yeah. See through. Cool. She's so funny. So this is my Delta Hall. <laughs> she shouldn't even be holding this. My mom is sober of everything. Like she doesn't do anything. <laughs> she doesn't even drink. So this is the uh, Delta. I've never actually had this brand before, but <gasps> look at how cute this is. And then for free, he was like, you can have this, I got you. I was like, oh, okay. Delta 8 liquid? Like, what do you do with this? You just drink you it? You drink it like a energy shot. Like, I don't I don't think I'll ever. It's like an energy shot to me. That's dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever put that in my mouth. Ever. So, but I did get it for free. But we got that. Now, you want to go to a place called City Trends is what it's yeah. called? So, we're going to go there. She's been wanting to go there. So, we're going to go do that now. All right. So, I got some goodies. Okay, so I literally just got home, fed the fur babies, and now I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm actually gonna clean my nose ring because I have been out all day long. It's actually pretty late at night right now. 
So obviously I'm gonna start with washing my hands. I've already done all this. Like I literally have got my nose pierced before. I used to have snake bites, like the whole nine. Let me wash my hands real quick. Today has been such a good day. And while I was in the piercing place, I actually was recognized a few times. So if you guys are watching, hello, hello. And I wanna say the weirdest, weirdest coincidence happened today, but it's also like a sign I feel like. So I've been talking to someone on Instagram, like who wants to hang out and we've been, I don't know it's just been a bit a little bit of time they want to hang out and i felt like good vibes from them like i've had a lot of people reach out to me and say like let's hang out and stuff and it's like i always feel kind of weird about that because i'm just like a weird girly <laughs> so like i never respond but i responded to them and uh one of the people that i uh was recognized by today was like oh my god can i get a photo like my friend is obsessed with you y'all Short story short, the friend they were talking about is the literal person that I'm talking to on Instagram because they ended up messaging me and they're like, oh my God, you met my really good friend. And I was like, oh my God. Like if that's not a sign that we need to meet, like I know you're watching, hi. If that's not a sign we need to meet at least one time, then I don't know what is because literally like when I met them today um, at the piercing place, like they had such good energy already. So it's like the fact that the person on Instagram also has the same like really good energy. I'm just like, <laughs> this is great. Sorry, I'm over here like trying to open this. I just think it's crazy because it's like of all piercing places of all times and days and people, it's like, how did we run into each other like that? I just think that's so cool. So this is piercing aftercare. And then they gave me some of these, um, they're just like little sponge thingies to, you know, clean it with. So on directions, it says spray before doing anything. So I'm gonna spray on there. Oh, and I know you have to like twist it. It's good to like twist it like once a day. So <laughs> it hasn't hurt all day. Like that shocked me, but it's good to twist it so your skin doesn't like grow on it or whatever. <laughs> That's just for the lack of a better term here. There's no blood. There's no crusties. Like, no pain. This is beautifully done. I am going to get some um, antibacterial soap tomorrow. Um, I forgot to get some today, so I'm going to get that tomorrow. That's very important to also clean. You can also use salt water as well. But when I got this done, I was like 12, 13. Um, I'm 32 now, so it's been a hot minute. And I, like, I got a really big bump right next to it which is actually very common for people who get their nose pierced. But I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Please, universe, don't give me that crazy bump. So let's just hope for the best. Knock on some wood. And let me give you guys a little haul of what I got today from the good old, uh, wherever we went, City Trends, I think is what it's called. Okay, really quick haul. I got some perfume. Paris Hilton perfume. I just thought it was so cute. It comes with lotion and also shower gel. There's like a little scratch to smell it. And I thought it smelled so good. Plus I think the perfume bottle is adorable. Like look at that. And then I got this um, AirPods Pro cover case. I've always wanted one and this is like blinged out. And I said, you know what? Let's give her a go. And then last but not least, I got some hoop earrings cause I'm a hoop girly. I mainly got it for the middle but they were only $5, so I was like, you know what? This is totally worth it. So that is my haul. That's everything I got. Hey okay, guys, so I did something that I wouldn't have done a month ago. And I just wanna share these little things with you because it does show that I am healing. So my ex would order ramen a lot. That's like one of her favorite things that she would have. And so every time I would think about like, oh, I kinda want ramen, like actual real ramen. I wouldn't do it. There's a lot of things that I stopped myself from doing. A lot of things that people probably don't understand, which is fine. Um, but I ordered myself ramen and I'm telling you guys, it is probably the best ramen I've ever had in my life. Um, I put it in a bowl from my home, obviously. And I warmed it up just a smidge a little bit because I like it hot. I want it to almost burn my tongue. And then I also got some fried pickles. So good. Did I think of my ex while eating this? Yes. But have I cried? No. Would I have cried a month ago? Yes. Um, I would have been bawling in my soup. So I am making progress. I know a lot of people don't get it, don't understand. And I just feel like it's kind of dumb that I have to even like say that or reiterate that. But we're all different folks and little things 
remind me of big memories and memories that used to make me want to cry. And now they don't. Twinkie, what was green? What was green on your face? Everyone's wondering. What was it? So everyone was asking, why is my dog turning green? Y'all, it is so dumb. Remember the pesto I had earlier in the day? I am so good about cleaning up my mess because I don't like a dirty apartment. That's not how I am. You guys know that. You guys watch my videos. I just don't like a dirty apartment. But when I ate that, I was kind of in a rush and I actually left my bowl on the coffee table. And while I was gone, Twinkie did get into it. And she's fine though. She didn't get sick. Um, her bowel movements are normal and everything like that. But thank you guys so much for like reaching out and being like, oh my God, is she okay? Because I was literally so confused. And then I found the trash and I said, oh, my fault, my mistake. I am only human, I'm not a robot. I try my very best to take care of my babies. You guys know they're my literal heart and soul. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.